It was a simple act of kindness, unexpected from an unexpected place. Last Sunday, the Baptist Hospital doctors removed the feeding tube from an 87 year old man and told him he could eat whatever he wanted. And so the dying man told family members that he wanted some authentic New York style cheesecake. And his request was heard by the owner of a local Italian restaurant who made it happen in time. Ken Amaro is on your side with this story. You can't tell from the outside, but this is a fine dining Italian restaurant. And here, details matter, even when it comes down to an act of kindness. I bake uh, four of these cakes every, every week or so. Jerry Moran is chef and owner of La Cena Restaurant. The New York native has done it his way, giving his best while demanding the best. I always try to do what I think is right. I get in trouble for it a lot. Last Sunday, Moran was at the farmer's market getting tomatoes when he received a text from a customer about a man in Baptist Hospital. His dying wish was to have some cheesecake. Elizabeth Ross, a family friend of the dying man, would post on Facebook. He wanted authentic New York style cheesecake. I said, yeah, let's take him some cake. Moran hand delivered the New York style cheesecake to the hospital. He says he did not meet the dying man, but he fulfilled his last wish. And I said, I wish him well, and I hope he likes this cheesecake. Wednesday, Moran received a nicely handwritten thank you card from Miss Ross about what he did. People would call that a small act of kindness. I call it amazing. Thank you so much. Gratitude from a grateful heart after an unexpected act of kindness. I think if we do stuff like that, it, it might be a better world. Moran loves being in Murray Hill, giving back when he can. Would you do it again? Sure. Moran wasn't looking for attention. The chef just wanted to give a dying man his last desire, a slice of New York style cheesecake. That man, Mr. Calvin Vees, 87, passed away Wednesday morning. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.